bigger, 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 bigger. Hello, America. Hello, America. Welcome back to another episode of the Bickering Gamers. Sad Soldier Sam is here. Hello, everyone. Shaggle Dragon Knight here. Hey, Gabbers. And Dragonfist223 is here, too. Did you guys hear an owl? Hello. Sound like a cat. Yeah, it sounds like a cat. Well, this is Mad, Mad Military Man reporting in, and today's topic is video game companies. Video game companies. Yeah. yeah, we're just gonna... We thought we'd talk about some AAA companies, you know. You know, like some Sega and... Sega. Sega. Square Enix. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. Yeah, you don't look. What, what, what? Square Enix. Really? Yeah, that's what they said. Square Enix. Square Enix. Square Enix. That's, that's not dumb. a thing, by the way. I know. That is not a thing. That's a real thing. That's dumb. Tyler's. Tyler, we're in your I'm house. I'm actually going to do it. You better not. We're in a house. Tyler has uh, Sprite, Sprite bombs. bombs, and they're really annoying, and they smell really bad. If he throws that up, I'm going to open one, I'm going to shove it up his ass and slap his ass cheeks together. You really want to make that ass worse than it already is. Just ask that to yourself right now. You really <laughs> want to. <laughs> Speaking of which... <laughs> anyway, excuse me. Um, let's first. I, I'd like. I'd like to talk about Sega first. If all right. That's all right. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Sega. I'd like Sega. the thing is. Um, I first. I remember when I was a little kid. I first got the. Uh, actually, it wasn't mine because it was my family's. Because we all had. We had to share our funds and resources. If you know what I mean, because we weren't really that rich. If you know what I mean. Uh, yeah. So basically, we, you, you shared. You shared. Your yeah, we we did, and uh, Sega Long was actually one of the short. first. Yeah. Uh, Sega was actually the Sega one of the first uh, game systems we had. Uh, we had, and uh, my favorite was obviously Sonic. Obviously, oh, Sonic. Well, that's a system seller. Uh, yeah, and uh, <laughs> hello, Mrs. James' mother. I'm assuming I'm not eating anything. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> James. Can we start this over? James, I love when you're in the videos. Yeah. <laughs> Can we start this over and just save this for ourselves? No, no, no. The world must know yeah. our personal lives, because that's what the internet is for. Have you ever been on Tumblr? Uh -huh. No. It's good for you. Anyway. See, Tyler? Good boy. Okay, the world must know yeah, our personal yeah. lives. Something for you guys to laugh about. Anyway. Uh. And what did you just send us via link? Uh, Steam Candy. Anyway. Anyway, we've got more of an audience now. Uh, yeah. Um, he probably has a headphone headset in. The, uh, the, the Sonic game was actually my, uh, my, uh, favorite thing for the Sega. And I, I think Sega actually, for some reason, I don't think, Sega's not really going anywhere, uh, well, here, now. Because the, it, well, I think they kind of dried up. Here's you know, the, that's actually actually they've been doing a little better. Yeah, you know what? Here, here's how here's how it's been. Um, Sega was the Xbox of its day. Was Microsoft of its day? Yeah. They were the first exactly. ever to spawn competition in the console market after the crash. Yeah. The thing is, Sega. I'm glad we started with Sega actually, because Sega's an interesting case as a company. First, they, they first they made hardware, and then they stopped at the Dreamcast. Personally, I think that was a huge mistake on Sega's part. I think Sega could have just continued. It's like the Dreamcast only failed because they went too far yeah. with uh, with their with their technology leaps. And in the past, you it's yourself comfortable over there, said Soldier Sam. And in the past, it's been very complicated to make such technological leaps because um, those leaps will make game developers confused, and that's when things get a little hairy. People um, understand why I said that later. Anyway, in a yes, we get it. Uh, anyway. Um, <laughs> So, when Sega became third party, you can tell they had like a transitional period because they were developing on other consoles, and it really showed the difference between party uh, people who make their own hardware and people who don't. Because people who do, the thing is, actually, come to think of it, Nintendo is the only company that makes hardware and makes games at the same time. Sony and Microsoft have, have other uh, di uh, divisions and uh, developers, developers for that. So it's like an interesting. Railway. It's interesting in case where Sega also was a hardware maker that made software. So if anyone, if that was anyone else who just made hardware but went third party, it would be easy for them, but not for Sega because they're used to making games on their own platforms. Because the thing is, if you, I don't know a lot about computers, but I know how it works, and I can tell when a, com a computer technician does his job, he'll be much more comfortable on his own computer <coughs> than with someone else's. Because uh, he knows how to run it. <laughs> right. 
Take that from someone who used to take up a computer program like C++ and all that. Yeah, that crap. We... <laughs> so uh, You know what I'm talking about. Sega is yes. an interesting case, and I think they really got a float. In fact, they make gorgeous games now. They really picked up with the H when the HD graphics came in, because they made stepped up their game. They made they make beautiful games. They do a fantastic yeah, do. job. I really love that. There you go. Testing you... something. Oh, it's you. I'm not actually going to do anything. Why do you do that That's a good question. I know, what will you? Uh, what will you do? What will you do? What will Dragon Fist, is there any copyrighted audio on your side? No. You sure? You really think so? Positive. Okay. Positive. Wait, till, wait till you see the video. Where are we going to next? We actually didn't. Well, plan. as always, we actually didn't plan this. Well, no, no. Sony. I, well, let's. Let, yeah, let's talk about Sony okay. because. Um, obviously, Sony is known for uh, the PlayStation and. Uh, well, but that's PlayStation, your, well, let's face it. The PlayStation, PlayStation and Spider-Man movies, movies the only thing keeping Sony alive. PlayStation. Yeah. No one's buying their TVs. No one's buying their computers. No one's buying yeah. any of their stuff. The Sony. The Sony really. I'm sorry, but. Well, listen. Not. I like the PlayStation 1, uh, other than the fact that it didn't really have a save feature. They had memory cards. Well, yeah, I know, but I couldn't... I could never use them. The memory cards? Yeah, they, they never, I never had them. I never had a problem with them. Now, my pl <laughs> now I, I gotta say, though, my PlayStation 2... It's the discs I had a problem with. <laughs> the PlayStation 2, though, that was my favorite. I, I, I love the PlayStation 2. I mean, now. the Cheap DVD player! I know. Instant buy! Also, they had one of the best RPGs for the PlayStation 2 are Persona well, 3 yes. and yes. Persona 4. Well, that, oh, yeah. well, that's because of that's because of Nintendo. There's two oh. things that Nintendo gave Sony. The the inspiration to make the PlayStation and Square Enix. Yeah. Because of the, the the president before uh before um what was his name? What was his name? The president before um What's the current Nintendo, uh, Nintendo president? Iwata. Iwata, the, the president for Iwata. Hey, the audio on your side is very loud. Yeah. Fixing it. No problem. The, thank you. Can I that's perfect. Shut up. Okay, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was I saying? The president? Uh, oh, yeah. The, pres the last president of America pissed off. Uh, I forgot the story. And I don't think he pissed him off per se. I think he just made him nervous. Business stuff, you know. He lost. Uh, he, lo he lost Final Fantasy makers Square Enix from their support. Uh -huh. So to this day, there's no Final Fantasy. Well, there is a couple made for the Wii, but other than that, there's no mainline Final Fantasy games made for Nintendo because of that. And I think they did make up with Awada because there is a couple of Final Fantasy remixes on the Wii. But that's pretty so far, but that's pretty much it. I don't know if they'll ever make a Final Fantasy on the Wii U. I highly doubt it, but yeah. Um, but that is an interesting story with Sony. Sony began uh, like, as um, a regular standard company. They made sound systems. They made you name it. And unfortunately, not a lot of people are buying their stuff right now. And like I said, Sony right now is running on um, their uh, PS4s PS4. and their Spider-Man movies. Yeah, but because no one wants to do yeah. it because they're too expensive. You know, you know what? The PS4 is it going to really carry It's a shame, though. though, because you know what? Sony makes fantastic TVs and fantastic speakers. I I, yeah. I love their speakers and their TVs. It's yeah, a shame. they're so expensive. Yeah, because they make the top of the line stuff. That's yeah, the problem. Yeah, but the thing is, the PlayStation Four really I don't think is going to carry them far. Nah, they they, they sold really. enough. They sold enough. No, it's not going to carry them far though. It, it, they sold enough, but like, where's that going to go? They just need to get sold. They just need the PlayStation Vita system. Yeah, they, they just need to beef up their library, because um, right now Knack and, uh, what's that other game? Infamous Second Son. Yeah, and Infamous is the only games that, that's uh, selling them right now. I mean, the reason why the PS4 are sold so much, in my opinion, I mean, the thing is, whenever the new generation, I want to clear this up because I want people thinking I'm bashing the system. Whenever there's a new generation, people always say, which I think is stupid, but, uh, they always say, I'm going to buy the console when this game I want comes out. And I understand that. Trust me, I do. I understand why. But I really think people should buy uh, consoles at launch because uh, not only you get the best deals that way, but it helps the company out a lot yeah. that you want to support. It's, it's, it's just called good patronism. Yeah. That and it, also yeah. you have more... Advancement in the system. Yeah, exactly. You, you get used to it faster. Like as someone who bought a Wii, and yeah, you get special perks that people who are new don't. Exactly. Like as someone who bought the Wii U at launch, I can tell you how cool it was to watch it grow. And the 3DS, 
I really wish I bought that at launch because when I bought the 3DS, Nintendo just made a deal that people who bought uh, 3DSs in 2011, the, the launch year, gets free game downloads for a month. They got any game they wanted, as many as they wanted for free because they bought the 3DS at launch. But anyway, with that being said, um, the PS1 has an interesting story. Nintendo began making a deal with Sony to make a disk drive for the Super Nintendo. Yeah. The problem was Sony made a very, very their side deal. Yeah. Like everything went to them. And it's Nintendo one it really scared Nintendo, so they made a deal with Philips to make the famous CDI. We all we all know how that ended up. And Sony yep. took their plans for the disc drive to make the PS one. Yes. And the rest is history. Yeah. Dun 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 dun. Um Meh. Dun 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 So, uh Shadow Draco, what's your opinion on uh on Sony as a business so far, do you think they're you think they're gonna get carried far in the future? Well, as for Sony, currently with their uh, marketing approach, they're not getting many customers. They're mostly okay. focusing on their newest okay. games, okay. Systems, the Vita okay. and the okay. PS4. Yes, but a lot of people say, "Oh, wait, there's not much of a big Has gaming it? library for both systems." But I'm saying, we are not focusing on the international games like Bandai and Napco that's coming out for coming a bunch of yeah. games out for the beta? Bandai Napco, that's right. And, and yeah, Segway. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know Bandai Napco for it. It's Gundam oh, or their famous rage-inducing game, Dark Souls, <laughs> and the newest one, Dark Souls Two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. my God. I played 10 minutes and, and I trust went, me, they have fuck this, Souls I'm done. PS4, so that's also a seller for Sony also. I it's a, bit, a bit of a benefit right. that Fan of Namco made a port to the PS4. And that's the most fantastic segue we've had in yeah. a while. Yeah, there is. Now, because uh, we actually talked about stuff. I gotta say, though, <laughs> Band uh, Bandai Namco, uh, I have a feeling that they're gonna be picking up on the Wii U soon since they're helping develop Smash 4. Yeah. Yes. Hey, Dra Dragon Force. I really hope you see some Wii U games from Namco. Because yeah. what I like about Namco is since the beginning, they've been around since the beginning. What I love about Namco is, well, Bandai Namco, but you know what I mean. They, yeah. They've been around since the beginning, and they've always been a very creative team. And uh, Pac-Man is like the ultimate example of that. Yeah. Um, everyone's still saying Pac-Man's going to join Smash. And actually, it's becoming more of a reality as time goes on. Uh, because they're making all this Namco. There's a lot of Namco references oh, in a new uh, Smash 4. Out. Oh yeah, they're making a Pac-Man: The Ghostly Adventures two. Yeah, uh, I never played. Where he the, sounds like a. I never sounds like a teenager. I never played the first one. I never even heard of the first one. It, uh, it's it's based on the TV show. I think it's canceled by now. Yeah. Hey, Dragon Fist, what's your opinion on uh? Was it okay? Namco game? Bandai. I heard it was an okay game. Bandai Namco, mm -hmm. Namco Bandai. Namco Bandai, Bandai Namco. I think whatever. Ban no, <laughs> no, I just I just read a press. Same I think it's one of um Sony's <laughs> supporters. Well, it is. Namco, it's one of their biggest lifeboats of how many games are going to be developed for the Vita and PS4 in this coming year. Uh, pretty much. And I'm making a prediction. There's going to be another Gundam game coming out pretty soon. Oh, and they're reborn, that is. Probably another Dragon Ball Z fighter, too. Yeah, probably that also. And as everyone... Most of Banner and Namco's games are based on the anime, and there's a, there's just, they just finished the uh, Gundam Bill Fighter series, so I'm suspecting they're going to make a game for that for the PS4 or Vita. Works for me. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Got them. well, like I said, like I was, so. well, like, uh, to get the elephant out of the room, uh, Namco failed after a while. This happens with a lot of third party companies. A lot of points where they struggle, but Bandai, Bandai fell on the Atari level of struggling, where they had to just pretty much complete go completely bankrupt. And um, what happened was they did the old classic thing that was happening a few years ago. They merged with Bandai and made uh, Namco Bandai. Uh, Bankai Namco, whatever the fuck. Um, uh huh. And, uh, yeah. Now the now they're together. It kind of hurt the Final Fantasy series for fans when that merger happened. I don't know why, but it was very coincidentally after they merged, Final Fantasy went downhill. Um, in fact, that's why Bravely Default was made for the 3DS. It was it was the purpose of it was to make classic Final Fantasy style game, and they did a great job. I love that game. I'm playing the hell out of it. Uh, I was Still working. Still, they're most famous in America for their Dark Souls series. Yeah. I mean, they actually uh, are going to start making more JRPGs, because Japan finally realized that Americans like that stuff. Yeah. Yep. Because Bravely Default... Outside. They, Bravely Default sold very well. Nintendo did a great job with marketing on that. For once, Nintendo does well with marketing. Um, uh, Dark Souls actually made a killing in America. Yeah. Dark Souls is always popular. You can't... Exactly. Americans have a, uh, a knack for... 
having that uh, darkness bone, you know, like they have the uh, the uh, <laughs> desire in them to have a a. Oh, you a game that makes yeah. Yeah. Help me out here. Yeah. Yeah. Help me out yeah. here, yeah. motherfucker. Yeah, dark siders, true yeah. darkness, you know. Yeah, like, darklings. They're darklings. darklings. Yeah. Americans have a tendency to be darklings. Yeah. I'm sorry oh, that I started this. Have this real, uh, trying to beat a game that makes Reap what you sow, true darkness. Reap what you fucking sow. At least I'm not mega metalist. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I know that fucking artard. Now leave him alone. He was he the, he was one leave the artard alone. He was, one, he was one of the original bakers. Yeah. yeah. So oh, yeah. Now we send him down. Bandai Namco is also there pretty James. well known. Uh, one of the games that actually we have made by them that uh, is for like older system that's defunct in America. They did actually a great job uh, with the graphics for the PSP. Um, I mean, the uh, guys don't know. I mean, actually, it's the God Gear series that they did for the older system, and I see them doing this a final backport from the Vita to the PSP as like a final send off for the older system. Right, I like that. I'm glad you mentioned that too because it, it, it just made me think. Banco Namco, uh, Bandai Namco. <laughs> <laughs> How about we just call Bandco? Let's just call it Namco. It'll make my life Namco. easy. Namco. Uh, just assume Bandai's in there. Namco um, does a great job with graphics. Uh, uh, I'm glad you said. Yeah, it. they actually pushed most of the older systems to the limits as like a final set off. Okay. Yeah. That's <laughs> why I run, think. But bye bye, you're done. We're right. That's why. The next one. Right. That's why I think Nintendo yeah. hired uh, Nintendo and HAL Laboratories wanted Namco Bandai to yeah. uh, make Smash Four with them. Do you know what? That's why I think they were the perfect choice because they used the fuck out of the console they were making it yeah. for. They use every bit of power. So does HAL Laboratories. They do the same thing. They use every bit of power they can get out of a console. And it's really impressive. I'd also like to address the two um, two of them before we get to the, the grand finale. But uh, There's more. There's a lot more we yeah, can no, cover. Uh, I'd like to talk about Midway. Ah, Midway. Classic. Midway, I have to say, and I'm sure every bickering game around racing this... games making machine? Well, yep, I know. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the racing games making machine. Just like yeah. how Square is yeah. the uh, RPG making machine. Uh-huh. Well, I, I, w I wanted to address that because I'm sure every bickering gamer on this forum will, will agree with me. Midway Wait, has a forum? A... Dear Penthouse. Now, uh, <laughs> we should be a forum. Indeed. We should have yeah. a forum. We should sure. have uh, a website. When we actually have a website, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, but I, I, I liked Midway because of uh, their style for... Graphics number one. I don't know what it is with Midway, but racing games are very small, like fighting games. So you can really pack the power in that. And racing games number one and number two, they're known for their fighting games. Has yeah, anyone ever heard of too. Mortal Kombat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now that's you. Uh, Midway actually has um, <clears throat> like I know like Ed Boon enjoys working with Midway because they're so relaxed with him. You know they they well, they they trust him. They're you know? used to him. Yeah. Like so, that's the thing with other, another thing with third party companies that they're very particular with what they're comfortable with. Yeah. But because they don't make their own hardware, <laughs> a lot of them can be babies about it. Yeah. Like that. uh like uh <coughs> A lot of them can be babies with it, like um like uh what was it, Activision and EA would be yeah. with, with new hardware. They'll uh, be very Don't even get me started with EA. Oh don't worry, we're getting to them, that's for sure. Oh fuck. Oh come oh, on. No, 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 no. Let's go. I might as well just right fucking pull down my fence and Heal my penis like hey, a banana. There has to be the bad Cut banana points too. Huh? There has to be the sad points too. Yeah, well, let's See, talk about life's great. You got the happy times, you got the sad times, you got the EA times, and you got the bad times. <laughs> <laughs> well, well then you know what else is good? Times. Rare. Yeah. Rare, I love rare. Rare was actually the rare, well, rare rare was always the rare second. was always rare. Rare I wouldn't count. They're always a second party company. You know? No, rare is a rare coming. Yeah. Yep. We already talked about Rare, though. I think we can see it. We already talked about the Rare. I think we that was Rare. We did. We went a lot of detail about Rare. Yeah. But, um... How rare to think about Rare? X. I'm sick of this. S. Benzo Kazooie. S. Benzo Kazooie. You said Benzo Kazooie. You can't. Their last game bombed too hard. Yeah. I like the building You know what else was a good... You know what else was, um... You know what else was, uh, actually, um... A good... Eh... Motherfucker! Uh... All right, hang on. Let me just. How about Game Freak? Yes, Game Freak's another second party company, but I do want to talk about that for one reason: fucking Pokemon. Pokemon. Yeah! yeah. Well, you know, Game Freak. That's all they do for a good reason because that Pokemon should be something you put all your focus and attention to because that is a 
developing nightmare, especially if now they have to do models. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, they're not doing it sprites takes anymore. Long to come out with the next game. Oh, forget it. Yeah. This was actually. <clears throat> Pokemon X was the least amount of Pokemon that was added to the game. Because they had to make models now. They had to make they had to 792 make models. models. They had to animate them. They not had to make sure the wild frames look right. They don't make sure they're yeah. not glitchy looking. Da 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 da. On top they had of to make animations for their attacks. On top of that, since Gen 1 and it's only getting more complicated, the coding system is one of the most mathematical nightmares you'll ever see ever. You can go they online, check out all the uh, uh, statistical odds of making of making a Pokemon game. No, not only that, but you know. Game Freaks, what do they have to... Think about what they have to put up with. I mean, yeah. every single time they make the Pokemon game, what do you think they that... Get uh, I could just they imagine, like, that, like, like, like I'm serious. If I, if I could have visited, like, their, like their, their headquarters in Japan somewhere, I, I could just imagine them, like, staying up until, like, 24 hours a day, like, their eyes just glued to the computer, like, they're just doing stuff, like, they're working like robots. <laughs> and then when they finally go home, it's like they finally shut down. Imagine the shit they have to go through. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for real. Especially when you get a bunch of people talking like, from an... saying the requests for new Pokemon or something like that. Oh, yeah, that, that must be annoying. Especially since every five seconds, Pokemon MMO! No, I don't, I'm sorry. Pokemon MMO. <laughs> oh, by the way, I don't think that'll I've work. I've actually found this on the internet. Work. I don't know the exact link yet, but I'm still looking for it. Someone is actually developing a Pokemon MMORPG. Well, it's going to take them like 20 years. It's yeah, yeah, no, I he's actually that. released, released uh, a beta. The darkness. I saw uh, the, the yeah, how, actual... He wasn't link working to the on it for years. He, it's he still has, a work in progress. It's... Oh, you forget. I think he only has, like, what? I 60 just, Pokemon? I just honestly don't think a Pokemon MMO would work. But that's another subject for another really? day. <laughs> yeah. Um, Game uh, Freak... Also, coming from someone who has actually looked at the, the coding, like Billy said, I looked at it, I'm like, I can never do this even after I have graduated... This school, so uh, well, let me tell you, I, let me just say something right now. If uh, since, since we're on this tangent, here's not even this. I'm gonna keep saying this right now, very bluntly. This isn't even the beginning of what I'm about to describe. Here is some of the codings they have to program for wild encounters, chances of wild encounters, areas in which they get wild encounters, the Pokemon, the type of shiny, their gender, their nature, their, their ability, their moveset, their type, their level. They have to do uh, the Pokemon catch rates, their Pokemon ability, their Pokemon stat, uh, stat, raising, uh, stat raises, their Pokemon name, Pokemon's uh, sprite, now model. The po uh, you have to do the NPCs, NPCs location, NPCs model. You have to do the gym leaders, their movesets, their Pokemon, every NPC trainer and the fight. Area. Pokemon, the area they're in, you have to put that. I mean, it used to be also, easier. And that used to be easier with sprites. Also, God bless the Game Freak staff. Yeah. Also, if you notice in Pokemon X, if you use an AoE Game attack staff, in certain areas, it affects the environment. Yes, it does. And you get be, bonus items. That'd be a nightmare. You know, they d they've done it. That would be a nightmare to program. They've done it. It's like I don't know how to program, but I know the. Uh, I know it's the, fucking tough. Yeah, I know the uh, circumstances around it. Like I, like I know the general idea. I just know how to build it. It's like how do I describe this? I know how to make a building out of blocks, but I don't know how to make the blocks. That's the best way I can put it. That's how I, my understanding of programming. Yeah. And I can tell you. Yeah. So basically, if I give you the pieces, you can put together the game. Yeah, like if you made models and whatnot for me already, and environments for me already, I can figure. He can navy at he, he can be the navy at D Day. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can show up at the last second and take up all the glory. Yeah. yeah. All right, all right, guys, we're under new we're under I new management. Simon, I can Simon. I can Simon Garfunkel. Yeah, Sir V Gab. Sir V here's to take over after we've done most of the work. He's just gonna put it together for us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> All right, nice. so uh, where, are we um, go where are we going next? We could go um, to I, I had one and I forgot. Oh, we want to you want to rip that you want to rip the crotch band aid that is EA. Yeah, I'll do it now. Rip off the uh, EA, EA now. Cut banana peels. No, I, I no must, let's just rip off this crotch band aid. Well, now I must yeah, say, let's call EA the crotch band aid of the yeah. hell. I, I must say this right now, uh, especially yeah. this is coming from someone who has an EA band going on for my, uh, for myself. She, Oh damn! <laughs> EA is still getting a uh, is just got a new president, and they are saying that the last president they had was the reason they were acting so shitty. That in <clears> mind, <throat> the reason why my EA ban is still going on because I want to see proof before they actually that they actually changed. Because trust me, there's a lot of EA changed. games. Trust me, trust and me. Trust me, they, their customer service, the whole contract <laughs> thing, doesn't work. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's all we need. More change. We think we can believe in. Trust me, I actually tried disputing my. Need for Speed video with the songs they added into the game. I didn't edit it. They didn't do shit about it. 
Yeah. It's still blocked. I understand. Well, you know, the thing is, EA is just so... Yeah, it's you, you got it you know, exactly. The customer service is the worst. And when there's customer service... In fact, they got... You know how many times they won the it's worst the company in America award? You mean, you mean uh, customer relations, really? Yeah. yeah. They have they have won the worst company in America award many years running. <clears throat> of course, Time Warner Cable, I heard, was now... Uh, I heard it was in their running this year. Don't Hey, don't be too sure. Verizon's... Gaining on them. Yeah, that's, yeah that's <laughs> true. Verizon's yeah, gaining on that award. Pretty much even. Unfortunately, that's true. I yeah. actually was always a loyal customer of Verizon. I just switched my uh, phone service to AT and T. Yeah. They still have their cable though. We'll see how long that lasts. To be honest. Well, it's actually believe it or not, Verizon FiOS and Verizon Wireless are actually two different companies. Yeah, I know. Yeah. No, yeah, I know. That's that, why. I, that's what some people I, don't understand. I know. Is. That's why I still have their cable service. The um, cable yeah. service actually rocks. Yeah, I know. I work with Time Warner because I don't want to use Verizon DSL. And yeah, so it's much slower. No, you know what? I hate I hated Time Warner Cable's internet, but again, another subject for another yeah. day. Um, yeah, we're never gonna I guess it's not really that much to say about EA no. if you think about it, except for the fact that they are very horrible people. Well, listen, EA was known for trade? sports. They they made like the the rough housing games, like the the sports games. You know, they made yeah, series. They, 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 they got yeah. parkouring yeah. series. Really popular. Games, yeah, that fucking really bullshit. Games. The I don't know, it's like parkour. The parkour. parkour. You know what parkour is, right? I know what parkour Excuse is, but I've never heard of the game series. Yeah, you know, they have to cater to all these losers now. I don't remember. They have to, come on, they have to cater to all the losers now. But, uh, hey, free they do is make, actually pretty awesome. They do make very triple A franchise. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I expected more out of my guys, but you know, I can, I can tell you this right now. One of my guys actually got injured when he was... He, I, I told him not to, but he actually did it. And he got injured, and he couldn't do PT, and he couldn't make any. He couldn't. Uh, what did he do? He was parkouring, and he hurt himself. Oh, no, that crap. oh that. Like I said, it's very tough. You have to train a shit ton yeah. just to be able to do the simple shit. Yeah. Well, anyway, you, don't, um, you hurt yourself really badly, especially yeah. if you jump off a building. And now, e and now, EA, since they're slumming, they have to cater to the losers when they hit rock bottom. Because that's all yep. that there no, are at rock bottom. They're never, they're never they're gonna be rock bottom. Rock Those bottom sports right games, no matter what, bro gamers will always buy them. It doesn't matter. They'll buy every year, no matter what. No yeah, you're matter right. you're what. You're right. I can right. tell you how many game ones I look for on eBay that has nothing but <laughs> Madden and NFL games in it for previous years. Conveniently, not the current year. I can't tell you how many game lots I find with that. I hate that. Yeah, I hate those. You games. know what I was thinking of yesterday, uh, recently? What if it's 2096? What are they gonna call Madden? There's already a Madden '96. Mm. Yeah. Good question. Imagine 2096, I guess. No. I don't know. No, 096. No. no. Maybe. That's a possibility. 096. But, yeah, that's a possibility. But what happens if it's uh, 2101? There was already Madden 01. Oh, ah. 101. See, now it's going to be fucking confusing, isn't it? No, it's going to be Madden 21 01. Maybe. Yeah, probably. I don't know. <laughs> no, it's going to be 101. But this is what we have. This is what EA. This is what EA Games has to show for it. See this? This is what they have to show for. Do you for. think EA is going to be even around that long? No. The thing is, they're always going to make money for sports games, but there's only going to be a limited amount of time before the gaming comes. Once the gaming industry's marketing changes and sporting games aren't really anyone's forte anymore, yeah. Yeah. that's when EA is going to fail. I'm surprised now, they still are. No. no it, 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 it is. It's well, no, no matter what. Because the thing is, a lot of casual gamers are what is known as the bro gamer. A bro gamer is someone who just plays Call of Duty and... Uh, uh, and uh, and uh, sporting games. That's the. That, it's, oh, it's like a little mini fragment of a sect, if you will, of, oh, the, casual, I know ex- of the casual I know the gamer. Perfect person. And there's nothing to wrong. No, there's nothing that wrong. Is a bro gamer. There's nothing wrong with being a bro gamer. Billy either. knows exactly uh, who he is. Hey, Billy. Yeah. Billy, I have an anime picture that matches what I'm about to say. EA. I slap down. I'm never gonna buy a game from you ever again. No, yeah, I have an EA ban. You want to also have an EA ban on? Okay, ready for my awesome segue. I have, an e- I have a ban on Ubisoft. I am not buying a Ubisoft, Ubisoft game. And it's a very shame... It, they're both correct. I, I, looked that up. I, I looked that up. They're both correct pronunciations. Now, uh, Ubisoft, those guys are just clowns, though. No, here's the thing. No, I'm sorry. Ever since... It's really hard. I'm sorry, but ever since Black Flag came out, I'm sorry, I love the Assassin's Creed line. I love the game to death. And I bought Black Flag to see how the story would continue. I quit the <clears> game... <throat> After I saw there was a rating system. Three bored the hell out of me. I, I, wait, I, wait, I'm wait, sorry, wait, but the wait, first time it said, wait, 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 how did we wait, deal wait. with this? I system? said, fuck you. Fuck you, I'm done. It wasn't even that, the game isn't even that good, I'm sorry. The gameplay is too clunky. It's not smooth. 
The three parkour was very sucks. Three was very clunky too. Uh, three was a lot better. I'm sorry, but Tyler. three was a lot better than this. Really? Tyler, Even that controls were clunky. I mean, I have played a little four, and I was is a little bored. Worse, was, is this game worse than uh, was it Lost Planet Two? Yes. Oh boy. <laughs> I'll play Ubisoft Lost Planet Two. Here's my, I won't play four. Well, here's my problem. I won't play Assassin's Creed Four. Here's my problem with Ubisoft. They're having such a bad attitude right now, and they're becoming EA. It's Ubisoft. I, whatever. <laughs> Ubisoft. I'm trying to. I was trying now to we call it Ubisoft. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm trying to confuse. Both, the shit both, out of both pro, pro, let, let's just move on. Anyway, like I was saying, the reason why I want to ban is I hate their attitude. Yeah, they want to make they, they 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 tell their fans straight to their face. We know what you. We, we, you don't know what you, you want. Yeah, we yeah. know what you want. You're. We're you have to rely on us. Yeah, you don't know what's. We're best gonna for make you. you a Assassin's Creed every year, and you're gonna like it. You were, you're gonna pay for us microtransactions or whatever we want you to buy, and you're gonna like it. And guess what? You know that Mad Dog thing you're looking forward to? Not only are we gonna, are we gonna call that early, so now it's been uh, back. It's gonna be backlogged a million times. But the people we saw, we'd uh, we'd support the Wii U. We're giving them a lot of flack, giving them a hard time because they're not making us money. And on top of that, even though we're still pretending to support them by giving them the games we want, we're making them much later because we don't feel like working on it really. And on top of that, that Mad Dog thing that the first game's not even out yet, that we won't know will be a success. We're gonna automatically assume it's a success and make another a year one every year. And that's how Ubisoft works now. Yeah. And it's a shame because I'm such a huge Rayman fan. I love Rayman to death. And now I can't buy Rayman Legends. I can't I, I can't buy any Rayman game in the future. I love Rayman. I really do. Hey, it's Billy. Such a shame. Billy. What? You, Ubisoft is probably the biggest reason that how international game companies are doing much better than the ones in America. Yeah. It's like, Bandai Namco is doing a great job right now. Yeah. They make the best games. They know how to push the the system to the limits. They know how to make a good story you know, through them, and they know where how to make this system run good, but also get you good graphics. Well, you know what the problem is, really. It's it's a tough economy right now, and everyone's yeah. getting very money grubby. And yeah. you know, honestly, I think that's they're doing it a wrong way. Customer, you see, Nintendo. They get people. The gaming media gives Nintendo a lot of flack, but I think they're right. And even though their marketing is horrible, and that's my 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 personal. Complete reasoning why they're failing right now, why they're not doing so well with the Wii U right now. Nintendo, the, what they do best is they know how to make money in the long run. Other companies are thinking about making money in the short run. And a lot yeah. of other businesses outside of gaming do that. I yeah. think that's a horrible move. If you want to keep yourself afloat, if you, whether good economy or bad, keep, keep, keep good customer, customer is, service yes, and is, fair decisions that everyone will be pleased and with. And fiscal responsibility. Yeah, Let's fiscal, not forget economics here. Yeah, and fiscal responsibility. And that's what Nintendo does. You know how much money they have also saved? Also make good games it's that like, last for a long time. Yeah, and you know what? Yep, exactly. and, and good two points, because Nintendo is known for people not trading in or... or, yep. or, or uh, selling their old games they always keep them that's a history of them and on top of that they've saved so much money that on i remember one day it was really cool on did you know gaming i learned the fact that if nintendo loses 52 point i'm i'm, I'm roughing estimating this number because i don't yeah. remember it 52.3 million dollars yeah every year they lose every year 52.3 million dollars yeah. keep that in mind yeah they will still be in business until 2053 yeah that is how much money they saved in the bank. That is how responsible they their money. And they still give people good customer service. They get, they make decisions... That and without being in the red, by the way. Yeah. Just, just mind yeah, you, without being really. in the red. They, they make decisions that get, that make them still afloat. They make decisions yeah. that make everyone pleased and fine. And at the same time, they... I mean, yeah, sometimes it hurts them. And the gaming media is very biased towards them. It makes them look bad. Yeah. Um, uh, what's their names? Uh, investors are very displeased yeah. with Nintendo. But you know what? I'm sorry. They're bad investors if they don't think in the long run. Well, Nintendo's thinking in the long run, and that's something a lot of other companies, like Ubisoft especially, yeah. should do. EA and Ubisoft should look at Nintendo and Bandai's way of working. Yes. Yeah. That's another company. They think in the long run. They, well, they think in the long run, and look at how they're doing now. They're doing great. It's like, yeah, they're going to struggle. They're going to struggle. But you know what? Sometimes, but they'll be they better off because they'll still be, be alive. Money. Well, that's the gnarly, nifty, non-fucking Nintendo. Well, let's, uh, let's uh, move on. Um... I want to talk about Square Enix, I guess. Yeah. Um, Square, Square, Square Enix. Enix. Square Enix has the same story as Band Namekai Banda. Uh, uh, they, so, they they started to fail and then Bandai merged with them. Same story. Uh, Namco is, is what I like to call the RPG making machine. Yeah. Uh, they made fantastic work. And actually, again, there's not much to say. They make fantastic work, and you know, Square you know, Enix. I, I gotta tell you, Square, and we already said a couple things about them before. I already I, I remember there was only one commercial. For the Square Enix. 
I can only remember one commercial for the but Square. You don't need commercials for Final Fantasy or any other RPGs they make. Yeah. Brave the Default you did, but that was only because it's the first of its kind. Yeah. And guess what? They're not going to make one every year. They're going to make one when they want, when they feel it's appropriate time, and they're going to take their time with the game. And most games they come out with are really good, well made, because they take the time developing it. Yeah. That's one thing I kind of have a hard time with third party developers. And that's kind of one thing I have a hard time with third party developers. They, uh, a lot of them think in the short run for one thing if things are going bad and on top of that in fact you know what good time to talk about Capcom uh, Capcom Capcom. Yeah, Capcom Capcom oh, it's funny. Capcom it sounds like Comic Con and I feel like going to Comic Con right now you wait until October I can't well if you want to go, if you want to go to California you know, if you want you pay, pay the you can play the pain fit, play, uh, you know play and send us all there this time. oh yeah Lee. sure I'll drag you outside the window yeah, Stan, Lee, fly. Stan Lee goes to that one oh really you can fly <laughs> Um, anyway, um, <laughs> Capcom, the thing with Capcom is they are so, they were so great with third party, they were such a great third party company, they did everything right, I don't know what happened, probably presidential changes, something like that, but, probably something like that, they, they, because the creator Mega Man leaves, they ignored their, their, their prize mascot, they, uh, they're making nothing but fighting games with their characters, they have not made a game with in forever, yeah, Street Fighter, that's all I gotta say, yeah, I mean, the no, only thing that, that they're now known for Street Fighter. That's it. Uh, yeah. You know, they actually did have some good ones. Like, like Street Fighter. Uh, not just Street Fighter. They had the 1942, 1943, 1943 Kai. Mercs was a good one. Uh, Ghosts and Ghouls. Yeah, Ghosts and uh, Ghouls is a classic. What a uh, fight, uh, Final Fight and Final Fight 2 and Final Fight 3. I didn't even know that there was a Final Fight 2 or 3 until uh, a few days ago, actually. I didn't even know that there was yeah, a Yeah, it's on the Wii U Virtual Console. Yeah, it is. Um, anyway, what was I saying? Um... Porn. No. Capcom... <laughs> pumpkins. Capcom is... Not many, actually, I'm surprised the media is not going covering this anymore, and it is, but Capcom is getting bankrupt right now. They're having a hard time, and they're struggling very greatly. Do, do you want to know why Capcom is, is struggling? And I can tell you this because right Because they're now. ignoring their fans. They, they blame their fans for their problems, yeah. and, they, and they haven't been making nothing but fighting games it's, with their franchises that they're not updating. Capcom was created, but it never... When it was created, it never moved with the times. It is literally stuck in the 80s decade. Well, you can say the same thing about Nintendo. No, 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 because Nintendo at least makes use of technology. It evolves with the times one way or another. Capcom, Fair enough. Capcom has been, like, fudge-packed and duck-fucked into the 80s decade. Oh, actually, I, I, I should say this, because I don't want to... Actually, I, mean, I, I know this is a bit of a tangent, but I should say this so I don't get hounded the fuck out of... Uh, if anyone wants to mention, uh, when I said before, Nintendo is, uh, makes good decisions and makes everyone happy. Um, if you if you don't like region locking, fine. You can consider that an exception. I personally don't care whether region locking exists or not, but because um, I don't want to play Japanese games because I can't read Japanese, and I'd rather people make I American. I play many Japanese games, and I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm not play them. Yeah, and I'd rather, and I want to play games that I understand what's going on, especially RPGs. And on top of that, I want Nintendo to know that I'm buying their games in America, so they'll localize more games. Yeah. Uh, but uh, that is said, I just wanted to say that because I know someone's going to say, Oh yeah? You think Nintendo's so good <laughs> with decisions? <laughs> what about that stupid region locking they still do? Ever? No one else does it. Yeah, I, I know. I just wanted to address that right now. Uh, back to Capcom. Yeah, so you freaking Herb Let's nerds. go back to Capcom. You fucking rotten milk ourselves. smelling Herb nerds. I just wanted to say that so people don't howl me with that. It's um, alright. I know how the internet works. Rotten milk yep. smelling Herb nerds. I've been on YouTube for a while. I know how it works. Yep. I think we've all been on YouTube for a little while. Yeah. yeah. Especially at our age. Yep. Five years. How long has YouTube been on? Uh, it's been eight years now. Uh, YouTube's eight years. almost at their tenth anniversary. Yeah, I've only been on YouTube for two years. Me, uh, me too. Funny. Oh, it's going on three for me. Yeah. Oh, I've had two channels. Yeah, actually, I'll no, make that four. Yeah. It's going on three years for me. Um, I got five years. Five years. Oh wow. Four channels. Oh, we bowed to the master. Oh, yeah, you were there since the beginning, huh? Oh, grand master. Oh, so sorry. All right, all right. Yep, yep, um, what, what else do we do? Uh. Let's talk about the gnarly, nifty, non-fucking Nintendo. Uh, we have the Microsoft yet. I don't know. Nintendo, we were pretty much talking. It's something you've got to notice. In fact, I don't... In fact, I, I didn't mean this to happen, but Nintendo's pretty much weaved into everything. Yeah, that's N true. Nintendo just weaves into everything. Well, here's the thing. What do we mostly review? And what are we doing our uh, big 
Well, you gotta understand, it's uh, not it's not like DPs on. You gotta understand, it has nothing to do with fandom of the of the company or anything like that. It has to do with the fact that they are historical. Well, what can you? They mean? Re- their games are good. Yeah, they they re they reestablish yeah. they reestablish console gaming in the country. They reestablish gaming in general, and they continuously make history for the now, gaming industry. Yeah, but what can you possibly say about Microsoft? I mean, uh, Microsoft. Uh, it, it kind of similar story to Sony. Uh, they well, sort of. Microsoft wanted to make a game console, and they did. They st- they went in the game industry, and here they are. Uh, they have three uh, three exclusive, but they make their they make their money off if, of. If they uh, didn't do a very good job. Uh, yeah, it's really. very, they're, listen, hey, they're they're very the, pop- Gears of War and Halo but, are very hey, popular. Hey, listen here, America. I am not a fan of Microsoft and Gears of War and well, honestly, Halo. Well, neither am I. Gears of War and Halo are not helping their case. I remember I first I first played Halo. Halo was how, fun. I, how I many years ago did the first Halo come out? I think it was oh five. I uh, yeah. Well, I remember. I know the game that comes out almost. Usually. I had I had to make a choice, yeah. America. I had to make a choice. Do I want Godzilla destroy all monsters for my birthday, or do I want Halo for my birthday? Guess what? Godzilla. I. Pl- you damn right, True Darkness. Godzilla. Godzilla. Do you want to know why? Because. Halo sucks. That's right, all you herb nerds out there that smell like Ooh. rotten milk. Ooh. That's right. Halo Uh-oh. sucks. Hello, dislike bar and hate. Do you know? Hell. You know Hello, what it is? welcome Hello. to it's my just no, it's it's just Xbox is just... Call of Duty. Original. That's exact. Thank you. Good God, tell it high on the mountains. Well, here's the thing. Say it again. T- say it again. True darkness. Come on. It's Xbox's original Call of Duty. There you go. Well, here's the thing. Um. Well, here's I'm th- sorry. I liked the game at first. I did. But after a couple of uh, remakes, it gets kind of uh, archaic, repetitive. Oh. Yeah. Repetitive cookie cutter. Well, here's a uh, here's the thing with Microsoft. Uh, they make their money off of third party <laughs> games. I don't know how long that'll last. I think Microsoft's gonna fail, and here's why: the Xbox One. The X-Bone. Yeah, the Xbox One did X-Bone. Make, it did reverse its DRM, provided you have an internet connection already. They did. Uh, they did get rid. Of, sort of, so they sort of half got rid of their DRM. On top of that. Um, the the because they force you to buy the connect and use the connect, their games can only run at um seven most of the time nine eighty p at thirty frames per second. What's wrong with that? Um, nothing. But here's the thing: the PS4, their arch competitor, runs at ten eighty p not every time, but most of the time at thirty at sixty frames per second. What about the Nintendo Wii U? Nintendo doesn't compete with those two. They they pretty much dropped out of the console market for good for the console wars. And I think for good reason. Yeah, um, so really well, at this point, Ninten- at this point, Ninten- people buy Nintendo for Nintendo games because uh, third-party companies just aren't making games for Nintendo anymore. If you want Triple M seal of approval for any video game company, it goes straight to Nintendo. Because guess what, Triple M got. I think I think we said that before. Yeah, yeah. I got a I got a Wii U. Anyway, but, but it's not just because of the Wii U. Nintendo has been there all my life. I grew up with it. Oh, okay, Flavio. As a young boy. Okay, Flavio, thank you. As a young boy in the post. Can we mute ever. him? We where's, my, where's, where's my uh, Triple M remote? <laughs> that would be awesome to have. <laughs> <laughs> what, what can a Triple M remote do? <laughs> no, it, it, remote. It, would, it, would, it would do all the different... It would do all the different... That, it's um, like the remote voices. from Click. That's what that is. It it's be, like the remote from Click. Oh, wow. It's already at time. Ah, fuck it. Hour-long special. Um, it, it, it would do the mute. It would do the different uh, voice casting. Yeah. It would do the hyper tri- dubs. <laughs> <laughs> well, if, you, if you change the channel, changing the channel really just means uh, he's teleporting from what from his from one normal place he's in to another. Like yeah. one second it'd be a cheeseburger, cheeseburger, and the next second it'd be in his room. Who the fuck? <laughs> Someone's yeah. playing with the remote again. <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh. Dad. Nope, too darkness. <laughs> Here's the thing. But anyway, back to what I was saying. The reason why Microsoft's been making their money with third party dollars so far, Xbox, the first X, Xbox, the classic, I was about to call the Xbox One. The first Xbox um, got their money because they were new. They were fresh. They were in the scene, man. And they also were, the background. Also, um, they yeah, I know. Like, the, the Xbox was great. I still like the, I, I like the Xbox classic better than the Xbox 360. The 360 came out, and it's much easier to develop on the 360 than the PS3. <clears throat> So game companies always made Xbox 360 games and then ported to the PS3. That's why a lot of people like buying third-party games for the 360 more. It was easy to develop for, and the games just feel and better on that console. Uh, it's the same. It, it, it's actually I, I, what I like to call Sonic Heroes syndrome. 
Because game, uh, Sega made Sonic Heroes on the GameCube, and it suffered on the PS2 version. The no, PS- yeah, I prefer the PS2 version. Well, it had a lot of frame rate issues. Still works. No, it still works, and, but a lot of people agree it's the worst version of the three. Because it had frame rate oh, issues. Oh, just like Unleashed? Yeah, pretty much. Um, and Not be- only that, they cut out some good Because stuff. Sega developed it for GameCube for... Because the game, because the GameCube is the most powerful console, the Xbox could handle it, but not PS2. Uh, now with the Xbox One out, it's not producing as well as the PS4. People are going to flock the PS4 because third-party developers uh, think in their heads better graphics equal be- uh, better, more profit, and they're not wrong, unfortunately. But I gotta say though, frames per second is different than uh, p- than. Uh, having 1080p i want my 60 frames per second that's important to me because and in, in for this generation of games 1080p is not that important to me whatever i, I would love that it's something that I, it's really icing on the cake and uh, trust me if i didn't have it but i could have it i complain about it i'll be honest i'm a bit of a hypocrite that way but um frame um p, uh 60 frames per second is very important that's the best we got, and it moves so much more smoothly. Like, if I was playing an N64, which runs, I think, at 25 frames per second, I don't care. It's developed for the N64. I'm used to that. I grew up with that. The Super Nintendo doesn't uh, uh, perform at the same speed. Whatever. It's a, it's a classic console. But in today's gaming era, with the new games, I want my 60 frames. It runs smoother, and it makes me feel, you know what? This is a new game. And uh, it's a new, fresh, made in 2014, whatever year you're watching this in, game. And I'm, I'm cool with that. That's and the thing is, the Xbox One might go down because of that. The only thing that's keeping them alive right now are the Microsoft loyalists. Yeah. If, in my opinion, in fact, they after they announced the Xbox One and all its DRM laws, they lost a lot of fans. Yeah. They probably lost them forever. That was that. that I'm sorry. Oh, I feel bad for Major Nelson. Let me tell you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what are we doing next? <laughs> uh, what haven't we talked about? Uh, let's see. I mean, we're only talking about the triple. I want to make this clear. We're only talking about the real big guys, you know, ones who had a historical name. You were going to say we were were talking about the triple M's? No, I was going to say the triple A's. Oh, what's that? What about about Treyarch? Oh, uh, I I actually, I don't know anything about them. Um, well, let's just say they're Call of Duty. They're the Call of Duty developers. Oh yeah, duh, Activision. Yeah, <laughs> duh. Exactly. Activision. Activision. Activision and Treyarch. You know what's thing. you know what? Activision used to be really cool back in the day. You know that they were the the people responsible for third party developers. They invented the the idea of a third party company because they wanted their games to be played on the Atari twenty six hundred, and the Atari and Atari told them no, make your own hard console. And next to Activision, they were pretty badass. They said. We don't want to. Your your platform sells. The ColecoVision and television fails because of you. I want to make games on your console. The massive lawsuit, and now third party companies were born. Yep. Activision was allowed to put their games on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, and the rest was history. Uh, nowadays, Atari is actually they're good cool. Game. Yeah. You know they're all right. I mean, yeah, call, new Call of Duty every year. Well, Atari. basically, what Activision does is. They get a franchise that gets really popular. Guitar Hero or Call of Duty. Oh, yeah. Fads. And they, they milk it. Yeah, exactly. They make the fad games. Yeah. What's cool at the moment. Yeah. And they milk it for all it's worth. And when it's done, they go on the next project. They do this thing. The Call of Duty is still running. You yeah. gotta what admit, is, you gotta admit is, though, they do make yeah. fads. Yeah. They make what, things people yeah. love. Of they, course. They what, did, what is, what is, one th- what did Guitar, Guitar Hero, Hero and Rock Band, one what, of the popular things What did Guitar Hero, Band. Rock Band, and Call of Duty get us? A bunch of rock, rock groupie wannabes and a bunch of Guys who think they can blow shit up and respawn. Well, fads. That's what a fad is. Well, it isn't going Call of Duty yet. isn't going anywhere, though. Oh, my God. Yeah, that I makes know. such a fandom. That ain't going... But, we, again, we talked about it already. It's, uh, oh, don't even get me started. We don't have to say that. That scuffs my boots. You haven't said that in a while. Would you say it's I haven't said. I haven't said that in a while. Yeah, all right. It feels like yeah, that. That's not right. You know? Oh, my God. He He's starting to get salt on us, people. Did you feel the lightning bolt hit the tip of your yeah, penis? Yeah, I kind of, I, I kind of, no, actually it wasn't the lightning bolt hitting the tip of the penis, it was kind of like my penis kind of peeking out, you know, it's like, ah. hey, <laughs> hey, ha- hey, haven't seen the light of day in a while, you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right, 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 yeah. right, 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 but, uh, yeah, that, 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 you know what I, you just made me think of with Activision, right? and I, and I started thinking, you know how, like, it was either Destroy All Monsters or Halo, we, what about Atari? Oh, yeah, Duh. what about Atari? Yeah. Atari, uh, they dropped off. They dropped the face of the earth. Uh, they had a level twelve uh, bankruptcy, which yeah. pretty much is no, which pretty much means me no something. coming back. Let me tell you something. Atari was actually the face of video games. Yeah, they were. 
They were the grandfather of video games. Yep. They were the first ones on the scene. I have Midway games on Atari. I yeah. Have, I have the Nintendo yeah. games on Atari. I have Activision games on Atari. I have Disney games on Atari. Yeah. Um, uh, and Atari, they oh, made really? the... I see that Minecraft logo on your uh, computer. Yes, Tyler. Thank you for hinting the things we have now. Thank you for your contributions of telling us what our personal lives entail. What are you talking about? I have the Minecraft the program. I just got Minecraft. Oh. I uh, have... <laughs> that, that being said, um, Atari, you know what they did? They made the best horror out there. Gaming was new and fresh, and that's yep. how you made the money. It yep. was a new thing. It's like, oh my god, this is the coolest shit in the world, and I want a part of this. So they made some arcade machines, and eventually the home gaming console was getting big. And that was a challenge. Can you make good home console gaming? Because yep. back in the day with arcades, people were like, why the fuck can I play? Why the fuck would I play it at home? I could play it at uh, I could play it on the on my computer or well, I don't want to play it on my computer. They were shitty back then, but yeah. I could play it. I could just go to the arcade and bring a few quarters. And the Atari made a console that people wanted to play at home. Yep. Uh, you know, I remember. I, I can guarantee you, my father did it, and your father did it. I know his father probably did it too. All of our parents did. The Atari was the first thing to have. Well, my dad was, had it. My dad actually had it in television too. Really? Yeah. My godmother had an Atari. My mom said that she used to go to her house and play it all the time. Wow. Yeah. My godmother but, but, had an Atari. But you see how Atari is... Uh, it's the grandfather of gaming. Yeah. It, it really is. Well, fortunately, it, was, um, it eventually led to the gaming crash of 83. Then Nintendo took over. But on top of that... Um, but that being aside, Atari has been severely downhill because they... Um, they they're, the last... Ever since the Atari... Um, after the 7200, things with that hit with the Jaguar and Panther, uh, uh, they were all commercial flops. And they, like Sega, they became a third-party company, but they never recovered. The, their games got more and more mediocre. And, out, and uh, what really made Atari's money eventually became remaking their classic games and remaking the third-party games. That's what the 7200 and the Jaguar became. It became a play a 2600, but with better graphics machine. And that's and nowadays they're gone. It's it's a shame. Yeah. I, I I hate. I don't like the thought of it. But they're gone. Uh, they made a lot of history. But what do you, what do? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you know I have a Donkey Kong on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Wow. It blows my fucking mind. I have a, 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 a there's a Nintendo game. For an Atari console, wow. it blows my fucking mind every time I play Donkey Kong or Mario Brothers. I also own Mario Brothers for the wow. Atari Twenty Six Hundred. Cause you know, wow. you know the song really? in eighty one. They made Donkey Kong. The rest is history. Bum 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 bum. This is the history of Nintendo. Yeah. Wow. You guys, know how much you, how much money you can make on those two games alone? Oh no! In fact, I can tell you something. I bought those two games for uh, three bucks each on eBay. It is really easy to collect uh, Atari games. Depends though. What? I'm looking for Tapper. I want to get Tapper right now for the Atari. Ever since the record, I think it's because Record Ralph came up, the price yeah. went skyrocketed to twenty bucks for that, and that's still yeah. not a lot. Yeah, but yeah, I you know, Atari. Wow. Uh, well, what what else did we talk about? Uh, uh, I wanted to talk about who makes the Persona games, and uh, they made Catherine. What's their names? Uh, Atlas. Atlas. At yeah. Oh yeah. Atlas. I think Atlas is a good place to go to uh, as a second to last. Um, Atlas, they're there. Yeah, they made great games like per, well, yeah, like they Persona. Made the best Atlas games was for the listen, PS2 before it went defunct. Here's the Atlas. 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 They're making a lot. They're, they're very like poor that. company. They've always been a low budget company. Right now, they're making a lot of 3DS games. They are working on a Wii U game, actually. Um, I heard, and it's very rare when they make an HD game. The only HD games they make is Persona, this game Catherine, and um, and uh, the new one. The, I guess the Wii U one they're working on. Uh, they're very low budget company, so a lot of times they make 3DS games because 3DS is the only platform out in the market right now that's in standard definition yeah it's the only one well i think i think alice is more like you know like um spy gaming you know like uh the, the, oh yeah that, that's that. right they make splinter cell too yeah. right right that's a great yeah. that's cell, splinter cell's really cool because yeah. spy, the, spy gaming the spy gaming company is known for that too what's okay, yeah. the name smt series yeah alice broke but a lot of them yeah it so, did i like atlas uh but again they're very low budget <laughs> nothing wrong with that they make cool games uh i gotta pick up some it's of the poor man's nintendo Actually, kind of. Yeah. It's the poor man's Nintendo. Actually, kind of. Yeah. Well, actually, it's not them who's poor. It's not <clears> us who's poor. It's them. They're very low budget. They've always have been low budget. I don't know what they do with their money they get for Persona and Splinter Cell. You think they make a lot of money? You but think? Hey, that. Hey. They're very he he hesitant to make an HD game. They do very rarely. But yeah. 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 
<laughs> you know. <laughs> you know the usual. Yeah. All the right. usual. All right, let's finish this. We have six minutes left. We, uh, we, even though we've been talking about the whole video, we can talk about Nintendo now. As a the thing. nifty, gnarly, non-fucking Nintendo. Ninety. Um, did we say everything? Pretty well, much, yeah. Let, here, yeah, I'll just, yeah, I'll, I'll put a, I'll put a link to the history of Nintendo song from Brawl in the Family. That'll finish it up. <laughs> All right. You're All right. funny. We'll see you guys You're later. Funny. <laughs> no, we're not really gonna do that. We're not doing that. I probably will. I will link the video. Well, I guess. I, 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 that does explain everything. I'll say, I right say Nint Nintendo is obviously like you know how Atari is the grandfather of gaming. Nintendo is the son of that grand. It's the father of the. It 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 it, it surpassed its predecessor. Yeah. It predecessor. It it rose from the depths and rose up. To the mountainous mm -hmm. success. Did you know that the, the first NES Basically got really was going to be a home computer? Yeah. It was going to be a home computer with a great spin on gaming. But uh, yeah. Nintendo of America greatly disapproved of that because they wanted it to be more like the, fam the family computer or the Famicom in Japan. And so they said, you know, the NES's design was made in five in 15 minutes. They had 15 min They told them you have 15 minutes to design a new box and we're going to design the specs around the uh, the Famicom. Yep. And the um, NES was interesting. Born. The NES was rumored to have a disk drive too, like the the like uh, the Famicom did, because you can find something no one knows exists. There's a little port underneath the NES that could, looks like you can plug in something like the Game Boy Player or for the GameCube, an equivalent of such. So a lot of people think the disk drive might have existed for the uh, the NES, because the Famicom had a disk drive that went on floppy disks. It was pretty much the downloading of its day. Now we have to make a mo now we have to make a movie of the Bickering Gamers searching for that disk drive. Oh no, it's not hard to find. You can find them everywhere. In fact, a lot of Famicoms come with it. They were never talking about the Famicom. Oh, they're not. They're, they're talking about the. the oh, they never made it. Uh, it wasn't worth it. The NES made so much money. You're destroying my 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 dreams, Billy. Yeah, the NES back then uh -huh. is like the 3DS is today. There's a saying about the 3DS going on the internet. They're saying that the 3DS just prints money. Damn you know, it! You could turn it on and prints money. Yeah, damn it! Just go brush your prick against the. Everyone guys. back then there was no <laughs> choice. Everyone bought an NES. Everyone had an NES. And the NES was the thing to have. It was like the Atari. It was the thing to have. You know. Yeah. Then they came out the SNES, the Super Nintendo, yeah. you know, like, yeah. The Super Nintendo was big. Uh, I remember it was really cool watching James Rolfe talk about that because he was saying, he was saying something that actually perked my curiosity because he said, you know, when I was a kid, we did, we, we were kind of confused when Super Nintendo came out because we just called the NES Nintendo. We just called it Nintendo. We didn't know what else to call it. So then they came up with the NES later, the Nintendo Entertainment System. system. Yeah. yeah. But is, what, is people still called it the Nintendo. Yeah. The, well, yeah. no, not anymore. There's the and Nintendo, which they were like, which one? I know, but people still called it Nintendo. Yep, yeah, they did. Yeah, but they want to know which one. Well, they they call I play the Super Nintendo. I well, I don't call it the Super Nintendo. Well, for Nintendo a while, system, I call it the Super Nintendo. Well, for a while, they just said Nintendo and Super Nintendo. But when the N sixty four came out, that was the point where they had to say, "Okay, we're we gonna call it the NES." Yeah, and then some genius. The went, Nintendo. Wait which a minute, one? Dude, them. wait a minute. It's called Nintendo Entertainment System, right? Right. Just the initials. This, that's when the face, that meme face, comes yeah. on. Holy shit. Yeah, you know? Hey. Holy um, shit! NES stands for Nintendo Entertainment System! Holy fucking shit! Fucking Nintendo rose to the ranks! What the fuck? Yeah, uh, I guess it's a good time to say... Don't worry, guys. Nintendo's not going uh, anywhere. Uh, they're not going anywhere for no, a long not, time. Definitely not going yeah, anywhere. Yeah, Nintendo's going to be here for quite a bit. Yes, the Wii U's failing, and I have to admit, as time go goes on more and more, I think the predictions with the Wii U failing is going to be true. Yeah. I have to admit. I don't want to admit it, because it's just... They have the games to back them up now. And uh, and trust me, Smash will sell a lot of consoles. But... I can't wait! Yeah, but oh that's... Oh my god. The, I think Smash is going to be its uh, saving grace. No, yeah, no that, that's a fact. Smash is just saving grace. In fact, the Mario Kart 8 is going to sell a lot of consoles, too. Uh, but, like, Andre the Black Nerd put it best. He said, like, he said, like you know, like, Mario Kart 8 is going to be a little uh, dick t tickle. I, 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 I'm just paraphrasing. This is what I'm assuming he said. He said something like this. It's like, yeah, like, it's like, Mario Kart 8 like going to be a little, like, yeah, num num num. And then, this, and then in the summer, we're going to get our Smash on the 3DS. And then, boom, winter time. You get, everyone, gets oh, yeah. Smash, everyone gets a Wii U for Christmas. Mm. Uh, it's gonna re it's gonna recover. Don't get me wrong. I don't. Nintendo's not gonna ditch the Wii U. That's what that that's for sure. Because that's a really bad for business if they do. Yeah, but you know what? I think they may. But they this is definitely the game. Another GameCube. In fact, this is doing worse than the GameCube right now. <laughs> My blame is on the marketing. I don't know why people are blaming everyone else in the world. Their marketing division needs to be. I, I'm sure they're <coughs> nice people. I'm sure their marketing people are nice, but they have to fire every one of them and get new ones because everyone's saying, "Oh, let's fire Awada." 
What's that gonna do? Nothing. In fact, I like Iwata. He, he stands for what Nintendo wants. I don't want him to replace with someone who says, okay, it's time to EA this shit. Yeah, and Ubisoft and crap. Yeah. Like, oh, Ubisoft, but, that's bad. Yeah, like, Nintendo is not gonna go anywhere. They're gonna make another console. It can go over an hour. Uh, it, they can make another console, uh, but, um, but, yeah, you know, whatever. They're, they're not gonna go anywhere. The Virtual Boy is a failure. That cost a lot of money. <laughs> No, that was. Oh, they took it off shelves. <laughs> but you know what? They're still around. I don't, I don't know why people... People keep saying, we use the next Virtual Boy. I'm like, you know, if you think about something, you keep saying Nintendo doomed, but think about it. If the Virtual... If the Wii U is the next Virtual Boy, didn't Nintendo survive the Virtual Boy? It's like, yes, granted, it's supposed to be a quote-unquote portable system, but it still costs a lot of money. They canceled a lot of games that people were really? working on. There was a Star Fox sequel that was going to be made for the uh, Virtual Boy. Uh, that must have been a big one. Wow, I can't believe the... Wow, the Virtual Boy. Holy shit. I own a Virtual Boy. One of the many things boy, I lost in Sandy. I lost a lot of great things in Sandy, let me tell you. Hurricane Sandy. I lost awesome. a lot of awesome shit, and Virtual Boy is one of them. I mean, not that it was a big loss, but I, I liked it for having the collector's value. Yeah. Yeah, I, and, they all, and it worked. It started to... Actually, before I lost it, though, it was starting to break down. Uh, uh, it, in fact, it was duct taped together. Oh, boy. Yeah. Well, that sta those stands are flimsy. <clears throat> oh, well. Yeah. Well, you know. Um, yeah, if you guys want to wrestle, just link well, the history. Well, I... Um... Yeah. Like, if you guys want to wrestle, just link the... Uh, <laughs> Of Nintendo, history of Nintendo song in the description, I guess. That's all you really need to hear. Yeah, really. Uh, yeah, that's all you need. <clears throat> all right. All right. That ends it. Bye, Med guys. Military Man reporting out. Bye, all right, guys. later, Money Man Great Master, Portable Gamer, Shadow Dragon Daddy, I am out. I heard that. <laughs> that, was, that was, I heard that. Very sexy, Shadow Dragon. I heard that. Very sexy. <laughs> I heard that. I don't know why. Bye.